In August 2013, Specsavers ambassador and Kiwi cricketer Daniel Vittori joined Specsavers Rotorua co-owner and optometrist Scott Raisbeck on the journey to Bar Mission Hospital to witness the exciting partnership between Specsavers and the Fred Hollows Foundation of New Zealand in this remote part of Fiji. You know, we're very passionate about people seeing, that's what Specsavers is about. So our relationship with the Fred Hollows Foundation and other community programs is there to try and help the community improve and, and people see better. They met Vasiva, a 42-year-old Fijian woman about to have surgery to remove a cloudy cataract from her right eye. For several years, it had limited her ability to work and care for her young family. As the wife of a sugar farmer, she didn't have money to travel to Suva for surgery. Until now, there were no other options. You just woken up. Yeah. <laughs> Vasiva returned the next day to have her bandages removed and is now very happy to be one of the thousands of people to benefit from the work of the Fred Hollows Foundation in remote parts of the Pacific. It's been so nice to be here today, seeing the patients. There's that expectation that'll work, but you don't know until you actually reveal the bandages and there's some incredibly happy people here this morning. The Fred Hollows Foundation works in 29 developing countries around the world, but it is here in Fiji that they are looking to the future with the establishment of the Suva-based Pacific Eye Institute, a state-of-the-art facility that has trained over 100 eye health professionals. Scott caught up with trainee ophthalmologist Dr Padwick Gallen between surgeries to discuss the situation back in his home country. Our situation back in Micronesia is, is quite uh, uh, different because I'm going to be the only one and uh, I need to recruit people first yeah. and uh, I send them for training. We're really happy guys yeah. like you step up <laughs> and help these people. Following his trip, Scott is even more excited about his own stores community program which raises funds for the Fred Hollows Foundation. You can see where the proceeds go, you can actually see the work being done and you can see how it leads on to the whole thing just a just flywheel mentality where the trained doctors go back into their community, they train other people, they bring the awareness of eye issues to the fore and then that inspiration hopefully then flows on to the next generation of uh, trainees that come through. After her cataract surgery, Vasiva returned home to a very happy family and Daniel was treated to some wonderful Fijian hospitality. All the kids are on holiday, so they've all hung around. Someone ran up a coconut tree and, and uh, threw a few down and the man of the house macheted them to pieces and we uh, drank coconut water and uh, once again feel very lucky to be able to just wander into someone's home and, and have such a lovely time. They're so accommodating and if the Fred Hollows Foundation can offer assistance in that quality of life and she can come back to her home and, and feel comfortable and, and be fully productive member of society and then I think that's, that's the goal for everyone involved. Visit the link below to learn more about the Specsavers Community Program and how you can support the Fred Hollows Foundation of New Zealand through your local Specsavers store.